Welcome, welcome. I'm Dee, and this is Single Mama Got a Life, where I try to navigate through finances, motherhood, being single, and everything in between. And I bring guys along for the journey to hold me accountable. So this is my week three check-in. Okay, this is where I tell you where my money has been going so far. <laughs> Um, as well as I am going to give a update. So first and foremost, we always turn to our monthly budget overview sheet. I'm going to actually slide this out because I need this sheet to actually go over everything, which is the income breakdown number two. And since I don't have my purple pen, I'm just going to put number two here. Let's slide that out. And then we'll slide it here. What are other, oh, <laughs> oh, we slide this here. So what I need to do is I need to look over my income breakdown number two to see exactly what of the bills were actually has cleared my account because I need this when I do my check-in. So streaming has, and you probably can't see this, so let me slide this over. There we go. So streaming has cleared my account as well as life insurance. And what I did is I put these little dots here because for some reason I was getting confused. I don't know why, but I think I was getting confused because I usually don't wait to pay these. Like I pay them like probably the Sunday after I get paid, but I'm trying something new and it was like, oh, what I gotta pay this week? Now I gotta think about it. So yes, yeah, so life insurance. Electra actually is not due until the 17th. That was one thing that I did have to check. Like the amount is always the same um, because I'm on the budget billing or equal payment plan. Some utility companies call it that. And so, but I never know what the date, what date it's going to be doing. On. But it was doing the 17th, so I didn't have to pull that out this week. Storage has cleared my credit card. The water bill has been paid, meaning that I have gone to the water bill and handed them my check. But it hasn't cleared my account, so I'm not going to put a check here. I have paid the cable bill as well as the phone bill and you should see a little asterisk here is because the phone bill actually was a hundred and sixty nine dollars and ninety two cent so I knew that the phone bill will be due on the 15th what the hell is that noise I knew the phone bill was gonna be due on the 15th but um and I thought it was gonna be the same amount uh, because I don't get a physical bill I didn't know there was changes to the taxes um, and surcharges on the bill. So it went up seven cents. So that's where that came from. Insurance hasn't um, been cleared because I haven't paid it. It's automatic. OnStar is auto as well. The insurance, and this is renters, it is not due until the 19th. And um, I put an asterisk here because I knew that the regular rate was $28.07. I just didn't know why I didn't account for that seven cent. I think it's because I was on the fence of if I was going to just pay it all off because it's only like $124 balance or I was going to pay monthly. So right now I'm paying monthly. Um, let's see what else was listed on here. The car note that was paid. Um, given has been allocated the only thing that hasn't been paid was car registration so i'm waiting to pay that this um the following week so we good to go with that i'm going to sit this up here because we're going to need this shortly let's go ahead and we're going to pull out the envelope spending record and i do need to get the right pants to go with this all righty we are back so this is for week three week three check-in and this is from May 7th through May 13th so the total for the bills of indoor credit card charges for the week is $1,315.13 so we just went over what actually went um, through so we're just gonna total that up So $696.31. I'm not sure if the kids are laughing and having a good time outside or this is just a older dog cackling. The noise is just kind of treacherous to tell y'all the truth. I know y'all can't hear, but I hear it and it's like, really? <laughs> so let's talk about fun money and I think that we should be able to see it when it's like this. I hope this is good. 
So it's not even a one charge of $18 for gas. Funny thing is that I filled up on Sunday, Mother's Day. I hope um, the ones who celebrate had a restful day and or experienced the extra love on that particular day. And I became a hermit. Of course, when Papa works, I don't go outside. We already went through this. We went through this when I talk about April showers. <laughs> Oh y'all, if I ain't gonna go outside, I don't look out the door. Well, Monday came and I didn't do anything. Didn't go in and outside. Tuesday came and no, I just told a story. Monday came and I went out. Okay. Monday came and I went out. And the reason why I remember is because Tuesday I did enchiladas and Papa wasn't here when I made the enchiladas. So Monday I went out and I did my side gig. Tuesday I stayed in. Plus it, I said I was going to go out and do one side gig uh, job, but it was storming real bad on Tuesday. So that was enough. And then on Wednesday, it was a day that I had set for me to do side gigs, but I had to do run like three errands. I had an appointment and then I needed to run, turn an item to a store and I needed to drop something off to the post office. I would say Tuesday, when Papa got in, he was talking about the gas, I didn't think nothing about it. Later on like Wednesday, 1 a.m. in the morning when I'm supposed to be asleep, but I took a nap on Tuesday, which had me up at late hours of the night looking crazy i clicked on youtube <laughs> and i watched the video about it and i'm like oh what are they talking about they're making up something so then i went to my best friend google and google was like yeah girl it's a shortage and i was like it's a shortage that doesn't make any sense i just got gas so how's the shortage when did it happen how did it happen that fast and then when i started diving in y'all that's when i started realizing the media play on words is oh, crazy because it wasn't a shortage. It was more so a gas delay. It wasn't like it was no gas being like there. It just no one can get to it. So I don't know why they threw the shortage because they already know when we Americans hear shortage, we don't want to be the ones without it. So we caused the shortage. The hackers caused the delay. But yeah, so... I, when I was running my errands, I was seeing how this was happening because every gas station I went by, it was actually dead. <laughs> and like, it was nobody really there. And then what happened was when I went to go drop, um, re I don't want to say drop off, exchange the item at the store. When I went there, it was like the line for that particular gas station was coming from both sides. It was getting it from both sides. And so I had a half a tank of gas. So I wasn't really... Like, oh, I really need to get gas. I really didn't have anywhere to go into this weekend. So I wasn't really planning. And so I kept asking my cousin because she's on the phone with me. I said, where are these people going that they got to get all this gas? Because <laughs> like, I know y'all still working from home. I heard nobody say they in all parts of the country. And I watched a good amount of YouTubers. And none of them who work from home said, I'm called back into the office already. And so I was all types of confused. But, you know. And so there was like a sinking feeling in me when I left the store that maybe I should just look over there and see how the line look. And so when I was going, I seen it was like a short line, but then I also seen it was a lady, she was directing traffic. And I was like, oh, I want to go here because it sounded like they got their stuff together. And that's what I did. I went ahead and swooped around, got in line less than five minutes. I wouldn't even say less than five minutes, less than two minutes. I was at a pump. Um, one reason why I was there faster at a pump was because my tank is on the right side and there was a lot of left side tankers. And so <laughs> she was so happy to see me and direct me. She's like, you got three spots. And I'm like, okay, which one would you like me to go to? She said, and told me where to go. But then my car wouldn't work at the pump and then it wouldn't work in the inside. Luckily I had my G pay and I paid and I just put $20 in it just to top it off. Um, because like I said, that I didn't really know the severity of the issue and if they really had enough geniuses to overpower this ransomware and get everything back up. But it's still going to be a couple delays until they get back into rotation. So that's why I went ahead and did that. So one delay because Papa do, do have to work 
Um, and he does have an event. So it was a couple of things that I knew that we had to do. So with all that being said, for gas, I, and look at here, we ain't even highlight nothing. Just the talking, it's supposed to be 27. Let me find my highlighter. I'm just a jab, uh, talking, talking, talking. And this is 27. I say 58. I say 41. Okay, here's a one more shot. Is this 27? Okay, 27. We do gotta highlight this. Excuse me, ma'am and sir. So deposit. Yeah, highlight. All this yapping and not highlighting. Let me sit this here so I won't forget it again. So, when I filled up on Sunday, it was $35.56. And then I put the $20, so that's $55.56. Groceries. Okay. So, I was lazy this past weekend. And to be quite honest, I didn't go into any store. I just used Instacart. <laughs> I am an Instacart customer too, not just a shopper. And so I put in my Instacart order and um, at two different stores, of course, Audi and Food Lion. And Audi, when you do Instacart with Audi, the amount is less than when you do at Food Lion. Food Lion is like $3.99 fee and Audi is $1.99. But I needed to go to Food Lion for some items that I wasn't able to get to Audi. But then what happened was I decided to switch up a meal but I forgot to take something out the car. And so I got some stuff that now I got to figure out what to do with it. So I only spent $92.74. Of course, household, nothing was put in, nothing was taken out of my budget. Personal. So personal had a lot of activity. First, I went to go get my nails done. I had to go two days in a row because um, she was running behind on Friday and I couldn't wait because Papa had to go to work. So I had to go back, but I messed up. And when I rescheduled the next day, I had an appointment at this new sugaring place, um, waxing. And, but it was like 30 to 40 minutes away from my home. And I thought it was in the morning time, but it was actually in the evening time. I mean, not in the evening time, it was, it was in the afternoon. So and I made my nail appointment in the afternoon. So I ended up having to cancel. And because I canceled, they charged me half of the service, which was $25. So $12.50 I had to spend. So it says that I spent $102.65. I want to note that I did receive $25 as a gift when I applied it to my personal. So I technically was not over but yeah, it looks like I'm over because of that. We'll get into that when we start calculating. Lastly is restaurants. And of course I went to Chick-fil-A and then I went, I want to meet some wings so bad at this wing place near my home. And so I went there on Saturday. Saturday was kind of like stressful altogether. I didn't do anything. I didn't do any I did things for myself. This weekend was a self care weekend. And I was, it was okay with it. I'm kind of like sad though, because I didn't have a lot of side income coming in, but it is what it is. All right. So let's go ahead and let's calculate everything. All right. So that is our weekly check-in for that. So then let's go to our next spending record with check-in. And this is for our sinking funds. And it really wasn't that much activity. So, um, again, I haven't dedicated anything. Well, let me highlight so we can see. I hope these colors don't mesh. Oh, it is. Okay. Oh, 
table. That was that. Lastly, for my weekly check-in is my spending record. And when we left off, it was $117.87. From the income breakdown number two, I added $199.50. So I left with $317.37. And I made various purchases that total $117.37. Um, be in, I just was feeling very generous um, with myself. Sometimes we have to do that. So that's where we at with our weekly check-in. And lastly, we go to our growing flowers challenge for week three. Yes. So that was my weekly check-in of my envelope system sinking funds in money savings challenge for May. I just didn't have it in me to record over when I realized I was out of frame because I thought I put myself back in frame, but I guess I did. Yeah. So I just want to give you an update. I am going on vacation, but there's a few videos I cannot pre-record, like the weekly check-in. So this is how it's going to run. You're going to see this video first, which is weekly check-in number three. The next video you're going to see is emergency fund and debt update. Then the next video you're going to see is the weekly check-in number four. And then the last video you're gonna see is gonna be a mashup of a budget closeout simple and a budget with me calendar setup because I did purchase a June kit from a new Etsy shop and I wanna feature that. So I wanted to make sure that was included before I went on vacation. And that would be my official last video before I go on a little hiatus and take time for myself, okay? If you're new to my channel, I would love for you to be part of my village. I need some more accountability partners, so come along. Hit that subscribe button. To all my returning subscribers, thank you. Everyone hit that thumbs up. And please share this with your family, your friends, and your coworkers. Peace out.